bank nifty and usd you know once again let me just try to shuffle around with the light oh my god this is my eyes but okay so um, um let's get started with screen share and let's okay okay so let's get started right see first of all this is a weekly close of nifty and bank nifty both and let's look at the weekly graphs first so in nifty you can see that there was a huge bullish uh, piercing then there was a confirmation candle and there's a third candle but that got some solid rejection last week at least right but this is an indecision candle with both side wicks bank nifty had a bullish piercing then there was a uh, doji and then there is a small red candle nothing very big to read into it except that 41600 which is a support zone seems like it's back into the uh, i mean it's below the support zone again right the resistance zone again right so uh, 41600 is now acting like a resistance for bank nifty and 17900 ish zone is acting like a support for nifty right now let's go to weekly candles and see what happened in nifty and bank nifty both and this is where things can get a little tricky so we talked about this last week we said that see it's a buy on dip and the dip can happen all the way even to 17900 because that's where the breakout from this trend line happened and we talked about the support bar resistance zone which is the 100 dma and we also talked about the resistance zone which is the 50 dma all of that has played out um and uh, but nifty is still above all three moving averages in a early uh, time frame right so 17 so long story short uh 17900 is a, so let me just quickly change this 20th feb 17900 is a support for nifty bank nifty under the resistance of <clears throat> so if right now if you ask me it's an ideal time to play this 17900 support game with a strict stop loss right so this is the chart now let's look at dollar chart also dollar is still below this trend line so um as long as nft is above 7900 dollars below this trend line there is hope for a positive risk sentiment market right in the sense that people will take risk kind of market let me just quickly see if people are saying something about audio or video or something vein is saying best thing to do is to make a broking app that lets her vein i'm going to say this i'm going to probably make an app that makes people not trade right um Tanaji Patel is saying English is better than Hindi. Not criticizing, but there are certain changes are required. What changes? Like this is cryptic, Tanaji. It's like super cryptic. I have no idea what you mean by that sentence. Uh, Shreyas, I saw your mail. I'm on a complete off social media, email, Twitter, everything break. I am, and to your mail, I have to write a really thoughtful reply. So please give me some time. Um, so anyway, uh, coming back to open interest, right? Uh, Eighteen thousand. is a resistance 17900 is a resistance as per option chain and if you look at overall option chain 18000 is a very big resistance indeed pcr of 0.7 um so some fresh calls were written at 18000 no questions asked so uh, basically 18000 is a resistance as per option chain and 0.7 is neutral right it's neither bullish nor bearish but around the atm it definitely looks a little tricky uh now if you go to fi option data this is where negativity lies there's only 1.2 lakhs call outstanding 4.45 puts outstanding almost three times as many puts as call and fi sold 73000 calls on um friday and bought 66000 puts and if you look at uh, buy sell activity 1000 crores sold right and uh, in futures and stocks 600 crores sold so overall right fia everything is negative so massively negative on option chain um, so let's just look at that number once again right 70k sell 70k 70k call sell 
70k puts by and 1000 crores future sell 600 cr stock sell verdict now this is tricky right option chain uh, indicates a neck resistance at uh, 18000 fi data is indicating negativity if you ask me it's a mixed signal because chart is indicating that 17900 can hold of course if it doesn't hold we are all toasted that's a different story but i'll tell you why i am thinking 17900 is still intact right one this channel which was broken right this this channel which you are seeing this downward sloping channel um well, what's with my mouse uh, i have a new table cloth that's the problem with my mouse so this downward sloping table sorry downward sloping trend line is uh, still intact where the breakout had happened three moving averages are still intact on a daily time time frame we are still close to the uh, 100 dma and it's a doji with a very healthy rejection at the bottom of course we kind of knew that this 50 dma can come into picture which is why uh, we had said last week that if the breakout happens you can play this uh, calls game but it can test this thing again and if you look at weekly there is still hope right because it's a green candle it's above the bullish piercing candle although there is rejection at both ends now last thing although it's a little early let's see what the monthly candle formation is like now this is hopeful right because the monthly candle which is being formed in nifty although it is not completely formed and it's wrong to say it's formed before it's formed if at all nifty is able to close anywhere like this then we have a bullish hammer or a dragonfly doji or a harami cross whichever way you look at it it's a reversal signal now let's look at a monthly reversal signal in the sense that this last two months have been negative the third one is a positive month it's a reversal signal and if you look at bank nifty also this is a negative signal this is a negative signal but this is forming a harami cross so because we are almost towards the end of the expiry you might want to pay attention to this february is a short month so on 24th february with just two days to go to trade if you are detecting the formation of a positive um, green candle that will be a reversal signal in nifty and bank nifty both right so therefore net net i am still thinking that if 17900 holds we are still in bull territory now this is where the tricky part is what trades would you do see the problem with trading here is that uh, see if it okay so i'll tell you the two things which you have to be careful about right if you are uh let me read some comments lnt view hardik i really don't know what is lnt because uh tana ji but you can see the hindi show sagar does a hindi show every day we op opened a separate hindi channel no no i am not offended here i don't take offense at all if i had to take offense my god how many people would have offended me but so here's a thing right you can just search for sensible hindi and you can see the same thing see sagar and sagar has such a serious expression see sagar has got harshit mehta style coat and all for his hindi channel boss i don't put half the effort and look at the number right it's very impressive because sagar is a 34k uh, subscribers and for a channel which started hardly what 3 4 months back if you ask me sagar puts a lot more effort heart love soul and everything else into his channel than i ever do because you know i don't know why i don't do that but i should do that probably but if you want a hindi version of the same thing please please watch uh sagar's uh, uh this thing um uh, sagar's uh, uh program right? so i i really don't know like i think i should have like a pre recorded piece playing it before the beginning of this thing uh saying uh uh you know um hindi show विश्वास इज सेइंग वाइड यू चार्ज फॉर स्ट्रेटजी बिल्डर बॉस चार्ज नहीं करेंगे तो हम भी गरीब बन जाएंगे और लाइक देयर सी आई विल टेल यू ऑनेस्टली राइट आई रियली वांट द सो देयर आर 39 अदर पीपल हु वर्क इन सेंसिबल दे हैव टू बी पेड 
they their kids need to go to good colleges etc etc et so definitely i would i would really want to you know uh, yeah try to uh, uh, charge for stuff but uh, coming back to this uh, trades right see the problem is as long as 17900 holds it's bullish so on the one hand it is very tempting to do a credit spread which receives premium right but the problem is with credit spreads that receive premium if you sell them and the view view goes wrong right then you will have a bigger loss than profit right so if you have a bigger loss than profit then it's not a good idea especially when you are playing a possibility of a breakout so if you are looking to trade a support holding theory and if you do a debit spread sorry a credit spread where you get the premium your profit is less than your loss so i'll just tell you that precisely and this is what is really bothering me right so if you can do let's say a bearish sorry you are bullish right so you are doing a bull put spreads right so basically you will receive premium right so you will sell 7900 put and cover it with the 7900 put the problem is if 7900 breaks then to wiggle out of this there's a little bit of a problem because you'll lose thrice the money uh, on this thing uh, now the ulta is you're assuming that um, it will go up right but the problem with playing a credit debit spread like this one is you'll get more profit than loss but if nifty consolidates for some time there or thoda sa goes down and goes up etc then you lose a lot of money on uh, premium on this right so this so essentially if you play a credit spread the problem is your loss is more than profit if you play a debit spread the problem is if nifty hovers around here you lose money so one possible alternative to playing this game is trying to do a longer term spread right so basically and i don't want to go into um, see you can do a ratio spread but yaar wo wo hi hai na matlab thoda okay i'll explain the ratio spread also this is a okay trade to do because it's almost one is to one and it gives you a lot of time to get your view right and beech mein agar aapka view galat bhi gaya to you can stop out at a very small number right because this spread does not have a good um, i mean it has very low gamma right in the sense that so let's put it this way right if this trade goes wrong let's say it goes to 17800 how much money will you lose you lose around 1100 types right but if you do the same thing for um, 23rd feb and if it goes to 17800 you lose 2600 right so you see the meta of gamma right this slope is much more deeper so if you're thinking that boss nifty consolidate karega aur aage ja ke aage jayega but it might stick around here then you are better of doing a longer term spread because the gamma is low even if you get your view right theek hai yaar matlab even if you get your view long you might not lose much money but that is if the nifty consolidates and you're not sure where it is going right but let's say the if nifty starts showing momentum it you're sure that 7900 is going to hold and you're sure that this is going to go to 18300 within a week or something chat say right then don't even think about it you absolutely have to do a bull call spread because you can see this right it gives you 2 to 1 risk reward ratio now if i change the same thing to march right um the risk reward ratio is 1 is 1 but more importantly even if it goes to your target of let's say 18200 or 300 quickly your paisa jyada nahi banega only 1800 rupees you will make but and in fact if it goes to 18200 right by the end of one week you will make only some 1300 rupees right but look at this the 23rd feb uh, short term call spread with very high gamma <laughs> you will make around 4k on the same trade so the question you have to answer is this right um are we very close to a very big movement on either side if you are close to a very big movement on either side then go for the weekly spread because it gives you much better rr right and if you are going to do a, a monthly spread then you are essentially doing it because you don't know where the movement is going to happen but you are thinking you are 
jayega eventually then you can do multi split but i don't think that's a good strategy for one simple reason right because if you i mean if you don't see a big move happening probably it's not worth getting into that trade and uh, uh, yeah i mean i am i'm a much bigger fan of taking a trade close to the time a breakout happens uh, with a near weekly spread than sit on a monthly spread for a month but of course you can do that if you are not a very active trader if you are kind of a passive trader if you are not a person who can do in and out quickly if you are not somebody who is very price sensitive and nimble matlab aap wo jab breakout hoga us time pe jaake if you are going to bet big if you are not having the comfort or the trading psychology or the bet sizing um and it's very difficult to chase momentum and take a trade right let's acknowledge that you will be much more mentally happy taking a one month spread at 17900 than taking a weekly spread at 18000 although the second one might give you a better rr so that way yes my ideal trade would be if you're sure of the breakout upward do the bull call spread of this week if you're sure of the breakdown downwards buy a bear put spread for this week but if you're not very sure if you have some kind of bias but you're not sure when it will happen then always play it safe with longer term spreads because your pnl fluctuation will be very low in long term spreads right i mean that's just play i mean you can take a trade sit on it or let me put it this way right if you want to compulsively trade take a trade tomorrow kya trade to karna hai ye chulle right and we let's acknowledge this right half the time we are trading not because we really want to increase our wealth or diversify our portfolio all that is bs here see at some point we all know that we are doing it for fun right there is a genuine gambling problem it's for entertainment and if it's for entertainment let's acknowledge that it's for entertainment and be reasonable and responsible about it right see everybody knows alcohol is bad right a lot of alcohol but nobody died because they had one, one sip of one one glass of wine a week right so but then the catch is you have to make sure the cost of your entertainment is low so one good way to be entertained and get a kick and yet keep the cost of your entertainment low is you can play longer term spreads because it won't fluctuate much there's a lot of peace of mind and you can think you boss ek mahine mein i trade pe rahunga eventually i'll make some money or lose some money but it's okay i'm happy with uh, you know sticking around in a trade and uh, doing this uh, of course this is if you are not an active trader and if you are a time pass fun you know hobby trader just like i am but if you are a serious trader uh, sitting on this trade for a month i am not sure if it's a good idea or not uh, uh, because you are much better off playing this game with a shorter term weekly spread when the breakout happens right uh, <coughs> हितेश पटेल से घर पे सबको पता है कि लड़का शर्मे जो है तब तक प्रॉब्लम नहीं होती जब बाहर बोलता है तो बाहर होता है क्योंकि रास खुल गया माय गॉड ओके ओके ओ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ओके आई एम नॉट गोना से एनीथिंग तन्मय इज आस्किंग फॉर एनी गुड बुक्स लर्निंग ऑप्शन स्ट्रेटजी नहीं यार आई डोंट थिंक आई एम आई आई हैव सीन एन इंडियन स्पेसिफिक बुक फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग okay so that is our uh, uh, analysis for today we'll see you again tomorrow as usual this is not tips recommendations or advice uh, uh, so um, till we meet again please take care and keep your capital safe uh, bye